Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Now, it has taken me about two years. But, for those of you who have been longtime loyal followers of my channel, thank you. Uh, anyone who's been around from the early days will remember that one of my goals for the... Uh, for the you for my channel was to oh that's one of the bases oh. was uh not supposed to talk to people I don't know that kid wait a minute there you are uh was nice piece you got to uh just keep a whole to try and find uh, other people to play with. Uh, so, after a long time, it appears... So we need to go to Good Neighbor. Okay. It appears as I might actually have found somebody to play some games with. So let's jump over here to Good Neighbor real quick. Wow. This place is a shite hole. And here I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. Ah, the speech. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see one of David Borowski the other day? Ah, he wishes. <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their synths. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! Of us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of Good Neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the, the people! Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that becoming peace malarkey. And nor should you. Elder Maximus crazy. So yeah. Um, obviously nothing's been set in stone just yet, but hopefully we can get a schedule lined out for well, uh well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the law. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Whew. You know, I've never actually spoken to her. Hey, here for Amari? She's downstairs. Not much to say, huh? And of course, Nick taking forever. So yeah, here's hoping. Also, for those of you who are uh, here for the skimpy outfits, you're welcome. Dr. Amari? Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? 
putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. See? Okay, no matter how smart I am, these options don't change. It does really, really, really irritate me. Nick's an older model synth. Is he still compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Now, supposedly, he goes Can through several. Keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Any idea of what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. I'm going to try and go through this as Initiating quickly as possible. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. So here's what I'm gonna do. Right here, at vaguely this point, um, Remember, 
You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm going to uh, tack in uh, another video that is solely going to be dedicated to going through all the options here. But for right now, I'm just going to run through all of this, okay? Ah, come on. There we go. There it goes. So it's hard to see, but there's a little blurry image. So, like, if you're looking at this... So you see where the cursor is, right? You see this little purple bit? If you watch that, you'll see that blurry image. Yeah, that's me. That's what I'm trying to get over to. So I'm just going to run through all this, but like I said, I will have a video of... This uh, doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. Of there this full thing, because it does take a while. Another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Let's and I'll go through looking. all the options and all I'll that stuff. You to the next intact memory. It won't have any commentary though, because I mean it's a lot of stuff to go through and it'll just be easier. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. So this is just going to be like the little the surface run. Not going through and clicking on the who's who's and the what's what's. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. But like I said, I'll have another video going up. As Mr. well. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ugh. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. I found Suspended. another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? Nope. This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown. No, I'm just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Also, as far as I know, there is no way to go into first person in this mode. Like, you have no choice but to be... An invisible third X688. person. 688 Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. okay I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had 
No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together, in case either of us missed anything. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Hmm. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Do not come to the fun bit. So, I actually would like to try and find a courser before I go and talk to Valentine. Not Valentine, uh, Virgil. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick, are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, I'll have um I'll have the full walkthrough of that, that area. I mean it takes probably about ten, maybe fifteen minutes to go through every single option in there. And listen to all the stories. So it'll just be kind of like a, it'll be a commentary free because it's like, like I said, it'll be mostly. Uh... Can't believe it. He looked just like Sammy too. He sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? So for those of you who don't no reason know, to be bothering me. I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. Sammy is the guy that you run into randomly out in the world. You run into him and another uh, another guy that looks exactly like him. Which, why don't I come to good news well, anymore? Hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now what are you buying? You're an Assault-tron? That's what my makers called me. But as far as I'm concerned, 
I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? So what kinds of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Sure. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's get you outfitted, killer. So the question is, did Cleo have the chest plate built? Or was she built with the chest plate? Answer that one, internet. Hmm. I could give you the ultimate in killing devices. Because I like Cleo. She's nice. Yes, 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 I know. I think what we'll do is this. Because that leaves a difference. Sells for eight. I've got a couple sixes. So we'll only leave two. We can do the math from there. Okay. Trade. All right. So now, 45s. How much money do I have? 62. And these things are $4 a piece. Fortunately, it gives me the number down there at the bottom, so I don't have to worry about doing any crazy weird number crunching. Um, I could probably work that. Nah, I could definitely work that. The melon is three. Wow, really? The melon is three here. And I have more ammo. So, we're done talking to all these people. Um, so, I have achieved my goal of getting to this point. Now, I don't remember if I have a radiation suit. Uh, I don't remember if I have one. Well, no, I know I don't have one stored up back here. Uh, that is a problem. Also, I don't remember where I can pick up a radiation suit. Probably Cambridge Polymer Labs is going to be the easiest and best bet. Ah! No, uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. oh, where is his hole at? There's girl sands, no. See, the problem is there's radiation suits scattered all throughout the wasteland. I think there's a dig site over here. So if you're wondering why I don't remember having watched hours upon hours of YouTube footage from various people. Why I don't remember where a lot of this stuff is, is because technically I'm not actually watching YouTube. Uh, what I do is I put YouTube on, YouTube videos on, while I am in the process of editing my videos. And because I have a lowly i5 processor, Mind you, I do have 24 gigs worth of memory, and uh, 
and NVIDIA 9700, or 97, or 970, God. Mind you, I do have all that stuff. Um, the problem is that uh, I'm not actually paying attention to what's going on on the screen. Because, of course, I'm editing. And I mean, I really just use it as background noise. Okay, cool. This is it. Awesome. Uh, good news. Found it. Bad news. I can't get in there without some form of protection. Though that said, I do have right away. And right X. So we can do this. Okay. This is going to suck. Right now, I don't think, yeah, there are wire traps there. So how did he manage to get through without setting off the wire traps? That is crazy. All right, we are going to save, just in case this goes terribly, terribly wrong. Ah, he did. Okay, cool. Um, the reason I'm reloading is because I actually want to de-arm those traps. So I want those grenades. So I can sell them and make money. I'll take some rad damage, but... Come on. But I'll live. Yay. Play the whole tape. Guys, don't bother me anymore. That's good. I think it's. Don't think I can pick this. Can't oh. I read the signs? I can't. The I guys would have I go me. back inside the quarry. I could kill them all. It's been too long. No. No, that would. That wouldn't be what it would want. Hey. Sure. It's time to lay sure. down. Just think you can sure unlock that? Yes. Oh, I'm on it, Captain. Of course. It's next to my bed. I will. Hey, hmm? See what you can do. Rather be off murdering a pint. This'll do. Any time now. But anyway, I got the radiation too. Ooh, I gotta remember to put those back on. Aid. We're going to need quite a bit of that, I would think. Hey, what do you know? We only needed one. Okay, dear God. Come on. I need you to move. Ah, she's stuck on the chair. Yeah, she, she sat down, and because she sat down... Ammo, caps, whatever you find, don't forget to share. It's actually a really clever idea, though. Use the hazmat suit. I'm trying to reset Kate is what I'm basically trying to do so I can get her inside that crate. There she goes. Ugh. All right, come on. I'm going to go all the way back because you had to sit down in the chair. Hey, what is it? Need your expertise. Yep, I've got it. Finally, a bit of a challenge. I'll see what I can do. 
no. Damn. I should be saying Broke finally. Up him. I'll try again. Damn, what the hell's wrong with me? Oh, for the love of stupid lock. That was easy. How about a challenge next time? Whatever they were mining here is probably long gone. See, the only thing I don't get is why the radiation didn't leak through over here. It does not make a lot of sense. It really doesn't. Because it will go around corners. So, I have everything I need to get into the glowing sea. The only thing I don't have is a dead courser. So, what I'm going to do in my infinite stupidity. The next person that asked me to shag is getting a well placed kick, if you get my meaning. No, I really, really don't. Whoa, whoa. You hear that? Is that all you've got? Actually, you know what I'm wondering? Hang on. So that's how much it moves when I'm standing down. Yep, it's exactly the same. Don't quit, do you? Something's ghost. You lose! I'm slightly trusting you here, kid. Must be getting jumpy. Hold up. Hear that? Oh yeah, I can snipe a sitting a target that's sitting still. Oh no, you It's really easy. up for the time deficit so I am going to be in front. Nice try. call it here in a moment gotta do this more often. and uh Swore I heard leave it found you. at that So hopefully I can get a um, schedule going for uh, very nice for uh, some cooperative play. <clears throat> um, I know they're doing a Minecraft series. If I had Minecraft, I would probably do that. Although I wouldn't upload it on my channel. Uh, you know, just to kind of like you know give him a leg up and uh... there's the caution can we get hidden Turn again so yeah um, that's sort of what I have planned oh and for anyone who's worried about whether or not having a, another show would oh, affect my schedule whoa, whoa. Ask some of those people, ask some of those who were around when I was first recording. Um, whoa, no you don't. I see exactly what you're trying to do. Uh, yeah, there was a time when I was doing five different shows all at once. Yeah. Actually, no, because it was. Um. Because I had Defiance, KSP, Arc, and then I had the two major ones, which was Dragon Age and. Actually, I think I was doing Dragon Age and Mass Effect then. Uh, Mass Effect 1. So, uh. Yeah. Every week. 
I would do uh, multiple videos on the weekends and then uh, one or two videos during the week, or really just one video during the week. God, really? Another one? Go away. Heads no one up. cares. This better be worth it. I didn't clear anything off of Kate. So Aww. and here I thought you wanted to snuggle. Yeah. I am up a creek. So what I'm gonna do is for you guys, I'm gonna good god, dude, seriously. For you guys, I'm gonna end this. Uh I am then going to find a place to offload some of this stuff. Uh take most of it back to the truck stop, come back, get the rest of the stuff. Why am I collecting it all now, you ask? Uh, well, simple. So that way it's all in one place and I don't have to go running around to try and collect it all later. So that's it. I am done for the day. And to that, I'm gonna say sayonara. <laughs>